Hi everyone. I'm um, so today's going to be a video, or well, a physical two to four video. I haven't done a lot of videos in a while, but today I'll come to it, come to you with a video on just something I want to show you on two to four. Hopefully you can get something from it when solving, because it's pretty cool, and I think you'll quite enjoy it. So basically, when I solve two to four, um, basically, or this 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 is one I'm showing you is when I'm orienting the left cell and the right cells so basically these outside colors with opposite colors so you can see we're building groups of fours here so one group of four here another group of four there another group of four there but then we get to the last group of four and you can see we've got four that are left out you also may get three left out or even two and you can normally set this up with you know we normally basically solve Normally solve this last group of four with jarring and uh, setting, doing RKT and all that kind of stuff. Um, and from here, what I'd normally do from this case is I would basically jarrow from this case. Um, so if I get this case, we're going to get four done. I would jarrow from this position. Like so. Like that brings them on the inside, turn it around, and then I'll set this up into an H case. So I would go like this, and then I'll do RKT to set it up into an H case on this cell. So you can see we've got there and there. So now we've set this up into an H case, we can unjar it, and the H case will still be intact from that so you can see the H case is still there and then we can solve this last group of four with basically OLL but RKT to solve the H case which is this and that groups up the last pair of four and we can see we've got one two three four but I'm going to show you something very different um, this video is going to be based on when you have not four that are left out, but five that are left out. You can see that. Six that are left out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And or seven that are left out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So let's say you're solving the puzzle. You have... Um, this group of four and this group of four ready to go so you've got this one and this one and you'll make the third group of four um, with the RKT so put that in there put that in there there we go put that in there and there we go but where is the fourth one okay so um, this is when you get this case so this is when you have five that are left out um, and so this is this normally happens when you sort of miscount um, say say you're counting your opposite pairs and you think there's four but you, th you actually miss one and there's actually five normally from this case you'd normally go oh damn it I can't solve this third group of four because this one's out I have to choose another color but um, I found this way where you don't have to do that you can solve it basically with um, the same colors you're doing right now so I'm going to show you how I get past this. So this is when you have five corners left out. And normally, this is normally an odd case. Normally doesn't happen if you always count corners or outside groups of uh, outside opposite colors that is less than four, you won't get, you won't run into this case. But this is, this is what can happen when you don't do that. You miscount and maybe count five. I'm also going to show you six and seven. You normally don't miscount seven, of course, but I'm just going to show you it anyways because it's kind of cool. So I'm going to show you when this is when five that are left out. So this is not four, but five. So this one is down here, and you can't solve that last third group of four. When I get this case, um, like I said before, I would, you know, get the last group of four with jarring. Setting up into an H case, then unjaro, solving the H case with RKT. 
I'll do that same exact thing for making the third group of four. Instead of solving this group of four here, which is with RKT, you can't literally solve it because this one's this one is not solved. This one is left out. I would solve these four. So I'll bring so I would I would gyro these group of fours, these, we can solve this group of four here because we've got four here already. And then we can deal with this one later. So we can solve this group of four, which will make our three from this one. So we'll do that. So we'll gyro here. And that will get oops. That will get these ones. So we can set this up into an H case, like so. that so see we've got that and that and then we can unjaro from here and see we've got our H case there we can unjaro the H case will still be there and we can unjaro the unjaro turn it around you can see we've got the H case still and we can solve the H case by doing RKT so we'll do that right now so we move that into the RKT layer we do RKT H case, which is that, and bring it out. And that solves that one. So you see how we have this third one solved, or oriented, I should say. So you've got one, two, and three. But you're left with this. So you've got three that are left out, but one that is uh, misoriented. This right here is a monoflip. Um, and this is when the, the actual cube is twisted 180 degrees, so you can see it there, it turns around like that. But I'm going to show you how I can get past this case. If you drive from this position, you'll get just, it'll just be a never ending cycle. Because if you drive from this position, this will go to the inside and three will come out. So if we do that right now, you can see that. that sort of gyroed you can see three are out but the ones in and then we can't really do much we can't really do much because we can't really sit we can't really sit any OLL cases to solve this last group before because there's one corner that's left out and it's got to be always one corner that's left out that's always sort of you know out of place so we've got to fix that um, and that's kind of just um, sort of altering different pieces and all that kind of stuff but I'll show you what I, what I do normally. So I'll just unjaro to show you. So you can see we're back to where we were before. You can see we've got three done and the fourth one here. Now you can see that this is not really an OLO algorithm. You can't really solve this with RKT because this is not really an algorithm. There's no such thing as one corner that's left out because there's like that does not really happen on two by two with one corner that's sort of misplaced and three that are solved. So the way to get past this is that you can see we've got three that are normally we've got three that are normally sort of in the middle here. What you can normally do is you want to alter these pieces here. So you want to basically take so you've got three up here, right? So you want to take these two out. So these base these ones here. And this is normally taken out by the sort of, you know, the F, sexy F prime algorithm, which swaps these two pieces. So it's basically that OLO algorithm, which will basically you've got headlights on this side and these two are sticking up. It's the same algorithm that will flip these pieces. So you normally do that algorithm to bring two pieces out. And when we've got two pieces out, we can have three to work with. And when we have three to work with, we can set it up into a sewn case. And then once we've got the soon case, we can unjaro, and then we've still got the soon case, we can solve the soon with RKT, and that will solve the last group before. And that's how I'll do it. So what I'll normally do here is I'll just go go through it pretty slowly. So we can take out two, it can be these two or these two. So I normally hold it like this. So this one, this misoriented corner is on the back. These two and these two are like this. And I'll do the F sexy F prime but RKT. So I move this into the RKT layer and I'll do F sexy F prime. So F sexy like F prime. 
So we're going to take this out of the Arcasi layer. And so you can see we've taken out two pieces. So you can see there was three here, but now there's only one. So we've taken out these two, and these two are at the back here. So we have three pieces that we can work with. Um, and there's one that's sort of misoriented. That's good, because what we can do is we can gyro. We can set these up into a soon case. Then we can set the soon case, we can gyro back, the soon case will still be there, and we can solve the soon case with RKT. And that will get rid of this mono flip. So, what we normally do, we normally hold it in this position, and I normally just gyro. So, I've got two out, this one here. So, I'll gyro, and this will get what I need. So, let's do that. Like so. Now turn it around here and you can see we have three pieces that are out and when these three pieces are out we can set these into a yeah basically a soon case because it's three pieces um, so you've, you can see you've still got one out here so what I normally do to set it into a soon case is I'll do RKT so I'll bring these two around like this bring it to the top like that and then I'll bring this around to here, you can see there. I'll normally bring it to here, like that. So just basic 2x2 two two kind of corner stuff. Got the RKT of it, of course, so that there. And then that is in. So now we've got three that are sort of paired up. What I normally do now is my sort of soon trick. So I hold this corner up here, these three are down like that. I go R prime, Y prime. R prime, Y prime, R prime, Y prime, and R prime. So this has set this these three pieces up into a nice soon. So one, two, three. Now that mono flip is gone because when we gyro back, this will be a normal OLL case. So we can gyro back from this position. So we'll do that. So we'll gyro. here, like so, turn it around, and now we still have that soon, and now it's an anti-soon of now, of course, so it's an anti-soon, yeah, we solved this anti-soon with RKT anti-soon, and this will solve this last group of four, and that will solve, all of these group of fours will be oriented, so let's do it, so we can do RKT anti-soon, so bring that into the RKT layer, and we can go R, U2, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime. Okay, that's done. We take that out. And we have got this group of four there. And we've got one, two, three, and four. So that's how I would go about doing that. So let me show you now when six that are misplaced. Alright, so let's say you've got these two ready to go. So you've got this group of four, and this group of four here. Now, okay, so let's group the third group of four. So, do that with RKT. And where are the other pieces? Oh, they're on the outside. So, there are six pieces that are on the outside. How do we get past this? I might have miscounted. So, same thing as what we'll do. Is when I get six that are out like so I would solve this group of four as normal like you know gyro H case ungyro solve the H case with RKT and solve these four here so I'll do that and you can see we've got this one here and then this one can't form because you know I've got these two that are out so we've got to do the H case of um, so we're going to do the gyro from here, which will get these into, um, so I can set them up into the H case, like what I normally do. So we have four there, and then we can set this up into an H case, like so, like that, bring it there, so there, and there, and then we can gyro again. Alright, so now one H case is there, now we 
So I'll pack it to the H case, which is this. And third loop four is done. Like so. So you got one, two, and three. But you have the fourth group of four has two out and two in. Let's say if we gyro from here, you can see if we gyro like so from here. Alright, you can see two are out and two are in. So you're also sort of stuck with them. So let me show you how I get past that. So, you've got one, two, three oriented. You've got two here and two that are out. So how do we get past this? So what I normally do is I'll actually gyro from here. So I'll gyro to get all these corners on the outside, like so. Alright, so you can see we've gyroed and we have two in, two out. Um, so what I normally do here is this, I mean, you could get six and they could be all in different positions, but this is just this position, so you might get you might gyro, and you might have something like this. And go, oh, okay. Um, how do we get past this? And normally, what I'll do is I'll put just I'll normally just always bring them together. So this one here just needs to go there. So I'll RKT this to here. So I go like that. Now it's there, and go like that, and now it's there. And once it's there, I normally just hold it like this. So it's like an H case, but there's only one. But these two, I mean, are not really H case. This is just this one. And so once I've got that, I can kind of just into gyro, and that will still be there. Um, so we can do that. Like that. And then we turn it around. Okay, so we've basically got this case. So we just turn this around like that. So you've got one, two, three. And you've got this case, and this is just you know your F sexy F prime thing again, which is just these two. They need to go out like that. So it's just your RKT F sexy F prime. So we bring this into the RKT layer, and we do that. So F sexy, and then F prime. Take that out. And that solves that. But you might get other cases, like you might get, um, let's say you might get like this, for example. You might get like something like, like this. And you say, oh, okay, so if we drive from here, we get this sort of thing where two are in and two are out again. Like that. And you know, you'd normally just RKT, RKT them. So that they are together. So you can see this one needs to go next to this one. So I would do that. So I would go like that, bring it around here, bring it up, bring it back. There we go. Yep. So, and then we've, you know, got that. And then we can just gyro from there. So it's not really, this one's not really too difficult. So you've got this, which is just your. F sexy F prime sort of algorithm which will solve those two. So you will do that. But RKT of course. And bring that out. Yeah. So that's how you'd just get past that. Six is pretty simple. Um, but let me show you one more. So let's say you've got these two ready to go and you're just left with this. This whole cube is like literally all the corners on the outside back except one. So this is when seven um, you normally don't miscount seven. I mean, yeah, you normally don't miscount seven. But let me just show you what I do when there's seven that are misplaced. So what I normally do from this case, right, so we can basically solve four like normal, you know, gyro, H case, ungyro, solve H case with RKT. So I would normally do that from here. So here. And this is this is my third one here, which is not clearly paired up, of course, but 
um, we can do that. So we can just gyro to solve this one here. So we'll gyro solve this as an H case. So we bring it around, twist it back, that, that. So we can ungyro. So here, um, there, there, we can RKT H case. That's what you're supposed to do, okay? So now we've got that done, bring that out, and we're left with three. So we've got this one done, this one done, this one done. So yeah, this case is not really that bad um, because what you can do is you can just gyro and you have three that are already out. So then you can set them up into like a soon or whatever. So what you could do is you can just gyro from here. You can see that one, two, three, and then these three, and then this one. So you normally just, you can just gyro from here. You can kind of see, you can just set this up into a scene. So you can just move it down, Y prime, R prime, R prime, Y prime, R prime, Y prime, R prime. That's done. You can see we have one, two, three into a soon. Then we can just on that side do a gyro. around and you can see what the anti soon so we can solve the anti soon with RKT so do anti soon RKT and then after that um, you can take that out from the middle and you can see this is done this is done this is done this is done so you got four done then you can just bring them on the outside and continue solving. So that's what I normally do with pieces that I miscount um, there's more than four accidentally but there's ways to get around it, it's pretty cool um, something I could sort of found out myself so you normally just solve from there, you've, you've oriented these two cells with white and yellow so now you can continue solving, shimmeting and solving RKT and all that kind of stuff at the end. So thanks for watching. I hope this kind of opened up some new things to you. It's kind of cool. Um, so yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.